During yesterday's show, we showed you a video of a family of bears breaking into a Tennessee oh, yes. cabin, much to the horror of the tenant, Michelle, and her friend. So have a look at this. Door, Michelle, trying to get out. No, he's trying to open up the door. He's ransacked everything. Yeah, there's two of them, Michelle. In the house? No, one. Oh, they're outside. Yeah, I can see them. They're staring at each other. Did you get a good picture of them? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, but the door shut? He just saw me, Michelle. It's he just okay. saw me. He it's looks okay. right at me. He's probably afraid. You know, I mean, he's not going to I think you. it's more like a baby. Oh, two baby big. cubs. Michelle? He's right at the bottom of the steps. Go to your room. I'm not kidding. I just, he's right there. Hey! Oh my gosh, well, it left us on a real cliffhanger, so we decided to get in touch with Michelle to find out what happened next, and we can speak to her now. Good morning, Michelle, it is so lovely to talk to you. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So you're a salon uh, owner from uh, Indiana. You're unable to work at the moment because of the lockdown, so you decided to go on a socially distanced holiday to Tennessee where you rent this beautiful log cabin right in the middle of the woods, all the wildlife, hoping to get up close and personal, maybe not quite as up close and personal as you did. So, on the, the time this happened, your husbands had gone off to play golf and you were with your friend Michelle. So, take it from there, what happened? Um, Michelle was just... Um, she had a straight view of the door and we were just talking. We haven't seen each other. Um, they flew out to see us in October. And so, we hadn't seen each other since October. So, it was just, we were just catching up. Um, we had other friends arriving later, so we knew it would be more chaotic. So, it was just a really quiet morning. And she just had this look of horror on her face and she was pointing. And so I didn't have a direct line of sight. So I kind of moved so I could see. And then I kind of panicked and I jumped over the couch and I just, I was yelling. I mean, it was ridiculous. I was stomping, you know, just trying to like scare it away maybe. You know, it wasn't completely in the door at that point. How did it get in? It, it broke the lock, the door. It busted the whole door frame. Oh my god! And 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 it didn't actually do any damage to the furniture. It was really just ransacking the fridge and the food, wasn't it? Yeah, I mean, he was kind of a gracious house guest, and that way, I, you know, he didn't um, tear anything up. Uh, he scratched a lot of things. He did. Um, he scratched things. He left a really chocolatey handprint on a on the television. But um, yeah, he he left all the furniture undisturbed which was like, it wasn't what I was expecting. You know, I thought what that did he I eat? ran upstairs. I'm sorry? What did he eat? <laughs> um, five pounds of Reese's cups, um, two pounds of Sour Patch Kids. <laughs> I was in charge of snacks. So in all fairness, this was snacks for nine people. <laughs> um, two beers, two Diet Cokes, um, two bags of chips, a big tub of pretzels. I mean, it was unreal. I feel like this bear has done this before. I mean, it went for the good stuff, didn't it? I know, right? <laughs> well, I don't have bad stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so, you were, so you called the owner um, and the yeah. owner called the police. Um, and yes. so, so yeah. what, what, what happened then? Because, because it's, the story doesn't end here. Uh, the, the police came no. and they fixed up your, your door for you, but the bears they came did. back. They did. Well, they, um, so the police got the bear out and then, um, fixed the door and then the bears came back and tried to get back in. So he went, um, he got them away from the door and then went to try to kind of get them away from the property and, um, did long enough for him to leave. And then they came back and hung out for a bit. i never, they, at that point they didn't try to get back in at all. Um, and then everyone else arrived and, and our cabin got a lot noisier. And so then we didn't see the bears for a couple of days and then people started to leave. And it was my husband and I there alone then. And then we were inundated by bears. I mean, it, it was scary. How many? I saw 11 in one day. Oh These bears, tried, the bears in that video tried to get back into the cabin. And as you can see, like all the light in the door, they didn't do a particularly lovely job of fixing the door. <laughs> yeah, so, so you, cut, um, you cut your holiday short at that point just for your own safety. Do you think because of lockdown yeah. that the animals have got more confident? I, um, I, I'm not sure that it's that they're more confident. I think they might be getting more desperate. 
uh, the easy picking food from tourists is few and far between right now. And so, um, you know, we were some of the earliest visitors there. They had just, our, in our country, they're opening state by state, and that state had just opened. And so they hadn't had tourists there for quite some time. And so the fact that we had 11 bears there, and that isn't something that normally, you know, they don't try to get into houses. They do sometimes get into cars, but they haven't had an issue with them getting into houses. So I think that it was probably more of a desperation. Yeah. Well, next time, just remember, don't take such good <laughs> snacks. <laughs> Oh, it's lovely to talk to you. Thank you. And uh, oh. you're, you're also a bit of a fan of this morning, aren't you, all the way out there? Yes. It's so funny. Um, yeah, I, I, we don't get to watch your whole show, but uh, we, we get a lot of clips from your show, um, like on social media, and so I'm always YouTubing. I don't watch... I typically don't watch television, but... Um, my, and my husband does, and I don't like what he watches, so I'm always watching your videos <laughs> on YouTube. Uh, well, good. now you're on. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Take care Thanks. of yourself. Bye-bye. Great story. Oh, so good.